What's up? This is the uh, first impressions kind of shakedown ride of the state undefeated carbon disc road bike. Uh, this is a size 52 frame and I was a little bit hesitant on what size to get because usually I'm like a medium or a 54, but their sizing recommendation kind of put my height and my reach and my numbers in their smaller frame or just on the very end of their smaller frame. And I'm glad I went with this size because it absolutely fits perfectly. So full review will be coming later and I'm just gonna take this thing on road talk about the bike specs, and see how it feels. Dude, this thing fits so good. The reach numbers are perfect. This bike frame has 415 millimeter length chain stays. The reach on the 52 that I have is 381, I think. It's got a road geometry on it. And man, it feels fast, it feels nimble. I set it up one by because I really like one by. And being that this channel is mostly focused on gravel and mountain, it's only appropriate that we stick with drivetrain that we're very used to. And I went with 32C Gravel King SS's tubeless on Roval C38 wheels. Fit with just enough clearance with those like little fuzzy things on the tires. These tires are pretty new. So that's good because I'm used to riding a 32C tire on light gravel. So that'll be nice to be able to rip on the light gravelly stuff. I left quite a bit of spacers. I don't have the greatest flexibility. So kind of bring up that stack height a little bit. About five miles in and as we granny gear it up this hill. This bike does climb, that's for sure. My chain's definitely too tight. I gotta loosen or add a link when we get back to the house, but it's a good shakedown after the build. Climbs good, it's super light. With pedals in a cage, it came in right at 18 pounds. Actually, we're gonna go down this descent a little bit. See how it feels. Boy, we are tough. Going 30 miles an hour and I still got gears to spare. Or one more gear. All right. We're jamming. This bike feels fast, y'all. It's easy to sprint on. The short chain stays really help. Make it feel alive when you push down on the pedal. So on gravel bikes, I'm a little more slacked out, a little more upright. But on this, I'm just like tucked down like that, you know? How cool is that? <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun on this bike and it fits me so good. Shout out to State for bringing this type of bike to the masses with the black wheels, black tires, blacked out components, shit. This thing is clean. Just looking at it, we went with the Rival Explore group set. We got a 10 to 42 in the back and then a 40 tooth chain ring up front. Again, it's what I'm used to in terms of gear ratio and stuff and one buys and all that stuff. We want, we've got Roval C38s and Panaracer Gravel King SS Pluses and 32 set up tubeless. Look at that clearance. Just clearance there, no worries. We got the Easton seat post with the Physique Argo uh, saddle, one of my favorite saddles. Some generic spacers right there. I, I have to trim all that down. This is the shakedown ride, but I'm kind of dialing in the fit. One bottle cage for now. And boom, we got the rival shifters up front and hydro disc brakes. We got DT Swiss. 350 hubs, the Garmin mount, a zip, 90 mil stem, and this bike looks so sick. I mean, look at that. That's awesome.
So I decided to go tubeless because I'm used to tubeless. I've got all the tubeless stuff to fix a flat. And I like to run a little bit of a lower PSI. You know, I'm coming from a, a gravel bike and mountain bike background. So this is, I don't know what road riders are like and running them tubeless, I'm able to go 40, 45 PSI and that feels real good on the road, you know? Any of the little bumps that I bump over, there's a little bit of cushion there. I don't want like a super harsh stiff ride. That's not why I ride a bike. Very quick and responsive. And it makes me feel faster and stronger than I probably am. And that's, that's a good thing because it helps me push it a little bit more. I'm gonna let these cars pass. I'm gonna rip it. Absolutely flying, dude. And it feels like I'm on a rocket. But I don't feel shaky. It feels planted. And it feels longer than it is. Ooh, we're flying, dude. Holy smokes, dude. It's probably the fastest I've ever gone down that part. And normally on a, I'm on a gravel bike, so felt like I was just flying. Man, this bike fits good. Damn it. I am so happy with the 52. You guys, I was obsessing. I mean, it's going back and forth with state about, oh, should I get a 54 or 52? And I mean, they didn't have stock in the 54, so I was like, all right, I'll go with the 52 since that's what you have. But man, I kind of like obsessed over it. But I am so happy with the fitment of this bike. I can't wait to take this on like some hero gravel headlands. That's kind of where I envision using this bike. It's a uh, light, easy gravel, nothing gnarly. But I know that this bike is gonna be fine and feel fine on that. It's not I've been filming on the um, DJI Osmo 4. And while I didn't like it at first, I do really like it. It's uh, it's easy to use. I love the magnetic mount. And so far the picture quality is great. Now I can just take this, put it back in without even looking. And we're back on the chesty. To wrap up this first impressions ride, this bike feels stiff, fast, agile, compact, squatty, and fun, dude. It absolutely rips. It makes, it kind of like pushes you forward a little bit more. Because, you know, in my mind, this bike is meant to go fast, so I want to try to go fast on it and see how fast it can go. Feel, feel that, so. Having a bike that can do that, and promote you and make you kind of push it, get better, that's great. If you have any questions, um, stay tuned, you know, for the full review. Uh, if you put the questions in this video, I'll answer them in the full review video, but uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out your boy's Instagram channel if you want, or Instagram page if you want, at thegravelist underscore. Hope you all have a great rest of your day, week, whatever it is. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching, later.